Now that we've talked about what it is, let's talk about when we use it and more importantly, when we shouldn't use it. To answer that question, let's first ask ourselves another question. When are we typically using it? When have you seen it used in practice? I would say that by and large, most of you, when you've seen albumin used, it's usually in the setting of hypotension. Now the context of that hypotension matters a lot, right? Stop it. Get some help. It's very likely that most of you have seen albumin used in the setting of patient that's on dialysis. Now that we've talked about what it is, let's talk about when we use it and more importantly, when we shouldn't use it. Let's actually go ahead and answer the first and most prominent use case scenario in which we should not be using albumin when a patient has hypotension and a low serum albumin. Now you might be asking why, because mechanistically, sure, it makes sense. Now, while there are many scenarios in which things may make sense mechanistically, or anatomically or physiologically, we always have to reference what does the literature indicate because we always want to practice good evidence-based medicine.